How to define a function on a TI Inspire. On a TI Inspire CX calculator. In this video, we will learn how to define a function on a TI Inspire and then use that defined function to solve problems. On a TI Inspire, there are four main ways to define a function. One, to use the menu function. Two, to use the assigned equals key. Three, to use the store key. And four, by defining a graph. The first thing you need to do is open the calculator page. So the first way to define a function is to use the menu key. So menu, actions, define. Then define your function. So f of x is equals to x squared minus 2x plus 3. Enter. You'll get the word done. Now we can use that function to find f of 2. Enter. F of 0.1. Enter. F of negative 4. Enter. The second way to define a function is to use the assigned equals key. So we write g of x this time. The assigned equals key is control menu. And you get the assigned equals key. Now define your function. So 4x minus 5. Enter. Now you can use that again to work out g of 0.6, g of 10, you could also solve equations. Numerical solve you could write g of x equals 0, comma, for x equals, so we have just solved g of x equals 0, and our answer is 1.25. The third way is to use the store key. If we use this way, we have to define our function first. So, 3x minus 4, control, VAR, and then we name it. So we'll call it H of x. Enter. Again, we will get the word done. So we could solve for h of 0.25, h of negative 6, The final way to define a function is by drawing a graph. In order to do this, we will need to open a graph page. Now, if we define our graph as, say, 
x to the power of 3 minus 4 5x plus 6 enter it will draw our graph but if we go back to our calculator page always remember the name of your graph ours is called f1 of x so if we now go f1 of 6 enter it will work out f1 when x is 6 so we could do f1 of 0.25 enter 4.76536 those are the four ways to define a function on a TI Inspire.